Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 11 and today we're going to be looking at this text to game ready character generator. This AI is truly really game changing. It takes in user text prompts and spits out 3D characters that match what the user enters. Over the years we have seen tools like Human Generator for Blender which uses sliders to change the look of the character using blending shapes and more advanced tools like MetaHuman or Character Creator that have more parameters for grooming hair and clothes come online. This all work best of pre-made characters but with adjustable parameters set by an artist. This is also how this AI works. It's not generating the character from scratch but it's working off pre-made characters and adjusting sliders to make the characters look like what the user describes. This is great because the AI is not fully replacing the artist but it's exposing the artist's work to more users who can take advantage of their expertise. This helps artists save a lot of time as you no longer need to know what each slider does and for more complex generators like MetaHuman or Character Creator, there can be hundreds of sliders. The AI understands context so it can decipher what the user is saying in their prompt and express it as a 3D character it generates. An AI like this shows us a glimpse into the future where artists work with AI to make unimaginable things. If this AI understands the concept of sliders and what they do, it means in the future it can be integrated into Blender or Geometry nodes so that if you have a building generator, you don't need to work with sliders or have sliders. All you need is a text box for the user to describe, say, the building they want and the AI can adjust the sliders in the back end that are powered by geometry nodes to make the building the user wants. Now that we know how the AI works in the back end, let's talk about its unique features. What is more impressive about this AI is its ability to, to handle clothes. The clothes are not just sculpted onto the character, but are simulated on top of the character. So when the character changes, the wrinkles and folds of the clothes also change. Another great thing about this AI, you don't have to work on each character if you have multiple characters you want for your scene. You can create a set of parameters which the AI can follow. This would act as guidelines. For example, if you gave the AI a prompt like create a group of New Yorkers dressed for work in the morning, the AI can extrapolate from that prompt and generate hundreds of characters ready to import in your game engine. Another great feature is that it can export to a lot of game engines including Unreal Engine, Unity and other DCCs like Blender, Maya, 3ds Max and Cinema 4D. So in a few minutes, you can go from an empty city to a fully crowded city with unique characters. And this feature of customizing large amounts of characters can guarantee that you never have to see a similar face in your scene whenever you're moving your camera around the city. You can also use this AI to generate other characters like, like aliens since the AI works with a base model created by artists. This means that more base meshes can be added to the library where you can use the AI to expand your character base. That's it. If you want to read more about this, all links are going to be in the description. Thank you.